In this session, we are discussing searching on a binary search tree. We know that in case of binary search tree, all the data items are distinct, no repetitions are allowed. So, in case of binary search tree searching algorithm, obviously we will be passing one search item and also we will be passing as input uh, argument as the starting address of the binary search tree and we shall be expecting two return arguments. One is the location of the node whose item is same as that of the search item and also its parent address. So, now you see if the tree does not exist then obviously the node which is containing the search item let it be the lock and its parent node address let it be par, par stands for parent. So, if the tree does not exist then lock will be equal to null and par will be equal to null. If the data item has been found at the root node that means lock will be equal to root and par will be equal to null because the root node cannot have any parent. So, par will be equal to null that will be returned and lock will be equal to root. But if we can get the search item in any one of the other nodes other than root node in that case par and lock both will be not null they will be containing the respective nodes addresses. And in another case let us suppose the searching is unsuccessful and the tree was existing. In that case the lock will be returned as null and the par will be holding that very nodes address whose either left child or as a right child the search item should exist. So, in this way we shall design this particular algorithm, we shall develop this particular algorithm, later this algorithm will be used in our insert operation. So, that is why we are having the concept of lock and we are having the concept of par. So, here is the algorithm. See. So, algorithm BST find and then we are having this root item par and lock. So, root and item are the input parameters and par and lock are the output parameters. Lock will return the node address which is containing search item as its info and par will be the parent address of the lock. So, if root is equal to null, if the tree does not exist then lock is equal to null par is equal to null and return. Return means rest part of the part of the algorithm will remain unexecutable, unreachable. If root is equal to root uh, root uh, implies info is equal to is equal to item that means if the item has been found at the root info in that case lock is equal to root and par is equal to null. Par will be null because root cannot have any parent and return. Return means rest part will be remain unreachable. So, when these two conditions are not satisfying then only the control will come to this particular part. So, if root info root implies info is greater than item. So, that means it is a finite probability that the item will be on the left subtree then ptr is equal to root implies left. So, I am going for the left child of the root else ptr is equal to root implies right otherwise. So, I am keeping the address root in the variable save. What we are doing always we are having this save in the upper uh, depth and this particular ptr in the lower depth. If ptr goes to the this particular subtree then at first save will be coming to the ptr and ptr will go to the next depth. If it if the ptr wants to go to the next depth then save will be coming to ptr level and ptr will go to the next depth. So, in this way the situation will be working. So, save ultimately this save address the address in save will be kept in par. In case of successful searching the address in lock will be saved in address in ptr will be saved in lock. So, here we are having so save is equal to root in this way. Now, while ptr is not equal to null ptr is going down. So, only ptr can be null not the save. So, if ptr info is equal to is equal to item that means ptr is now pointing to that very particular node whose info part info part is equal to the I search item then lock is equal to ptr par is equal to save and return as i told you earlier then par will be containing the uh, par will be containing the uh, parent nodes address of the lock and save will be dumped on that 
otherwise what will happen if it is true then it will return in this case otherwise save is equal to ptr so the save has come to the ptr level now ptr will go down either towards the left or right so now if ptr uh, info ptr implies info is greater than item then ptr is equal to ptr implies left else ptr is equal to ptr implies right so in this way it will be working so this while body will be executing so if we find the successful searching from there it will return otherwise it will come out and i shall say lock is equal to null and par is equal to save so lock is equal to null denotes that the unsuccessful searching unsuccessful searching has taken place and par is equal to save means if the search item was there then it should be found as a left child or right child info of the par of the par so that is par is equal to save and return in this way this algorithm is working let me trace once so now let us suppose here item is equal to say i'm taking this one as say as 60 so item is equal to 60 okay now see what will happen so at first the root node is existing so we do we should not make lock is equal to null and par is equal to null now you see root node info is not equal to item so that does not indicate that par is equal to null and lock is equal to root so i'm not going to do that one so what will happen so it will be pointed by save and par so 60 is greater than this so par will be here so 60 is greater than that so par will be there now i shall check its item so info info is 56 and it is 60 so it will be going to the right child so what will happen the save will come down and par will go to the right child now this 60 is not equal to this 65 but 60 is lesser than so what will happen par ptr not par ptr will be coming to the left child and this save will be going to this particular place but its left child left link is containing null so ptr is equal to null so it will come out from this while body and it will write, write lock is equal to null and par is equal to save so whatever the save value we are having that will be kept in par because if there was a node with the info 60 that that node must be found as the left child of this 65 so that's why the 65 nodes address will be kept in uh, kept in par which was in save and that will be dumped onto the par so in this way my find bst algorithm is working so i am requiring this algorithm in case of insertion operation also so thanks for watching this video